when we work with the database there are multiple cases where there is a need to change the existing database schema from one version to different version for example we may have to add some column or we may have to alter the existing column and this is very challenging when our app is already on the production because user may lose the existing data they have or they may experience the crashes when they try to access the database and this is not the experience we want to give it to our users so what's the solution here and how can we resolve that so hi everyone this is pranit grower today we will discuss about how can we apply the migration in the room database see i have already told you that migration is the process of updating the existing schema from one version to different version and this also help us to maintain the backward compatibility of our application and do not let user lose the existing data so let's go through the steps of writing the migration from version 1 to version 2 without losing the existing user data let's go to the screen quick so i have already created one project where i have used room database you can download the sample project from my github profile i have given the link in the description also if you want to understand room database i have already created one video you can check that out in my video description now coming back to our project let's run this sample app so if you can see here we have two entries one is name and one is address if we add anything here for example let's say i am adding proteins from world let's submit that it run the insert database query and we can verify that here as well so we have three columns one is id auto generated then second is name and then we have address and this is our entity or table which is user table where we have three columns which i just already explained so here our first step would be to define the new schema for version 2 for example let's say we want to add a new column for existing table and we need to update the corresponding entity class to include the new column i'll add new column here as contact number of type string i am making it as a nullable so value may or may not be there so our next step is to create a migration class so this is our database class now to perform the migration listen very carefully we need to create a migration class that implement the migration interface provided by the room and this migration interface require us to implement one method that is migrate method now what's the meaning of migrate method firstly let me create a migration class quickly and this implements the migration class and this override the migrate function now migrate function should contain the code to update the existing database schema that means in this example which we are doing it should contain the sql statement to add the new column in the existing table let's write that we have the database object here alter table user add column for example contact number of type text for the existing let's say i give the default value as 10 times 0 this is my migration class now third and last step is update the database builder this is my database builder now we have to update that because we want to use the migration class we need to update this builder in database class to include the migration and how can we do that it's very very simple just call one function that is add migrations and here we have to pass the array of the migrations we have already created we have created only one and we will pass the one migration class here and that's it we have successfully created a migration class from version 1 to version 2 of our room database now one error we have to resolve is because we are inserting the data that is name and address we have to also insert the contact let's say pass for example 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 i'm passing a static contact number for all of the rows now our last but not least step is to update the version from version 1 to version 2 now run our application and see how it looks so our app is ready let's go to the app inspection so that we can verify for example now we want to add a new New schema address coding with unique channel. Okay, with this change, we should have a contact number also added as a one, two, three, and so on. Let's click on submit. Verify it. Six number new schema added with coding with unique and contact number which we just added. And if you can see here, 
our other contact number default to this zero which we have already zero 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 and this is how we implement the migration in our room database so thank you so much everyone i hope that you like this video if you want more such relatable videos for example what is room database and how can we implement that i have already created one video you can directly watch it out in my channel and there are multiple videos related to that see you in the next video take care bye bye